the day because we are practically in middle of the day. It's about, uh, I think it's about maybe something to 11 or something like that. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are going to do our handbag sale. Uh, design a handbag sale and I've already pulled the handbags out and ready to go. Uh, but before I get into the handbag sale, I do want to address a question that I got in so far. And um, some of you may know that I do jewelry and done jewelry. I am now adding jewelry uh, back to my website. Um, I'm actually purchasing some ready-to-go jewelry. And I still have some of the pieces uh, that I had before on my uh, website so anyway so go and check that we do have some nice jewelry there for you some nice little bracelets earrings necklaces and things like that um for you to have and i will be thrifting some other ones as well okay but the question is is about um 14 karat gold fields and so far um and uh, a lot of people buy um, 14 karat gold fill. Uh, it is expensive, but it is not expensive as buying real gold. Okay, so let's put it this way. You may buy uh, a chunky uh, 14 karat gold fill bracelet for maybe about uh, handmade, 75 or 250 But if you buy a 14 karat gold bracelet, you're going to be paying up to uh, 500 600 or more, whatever, like that. Uh, when you go to purchase these um, uh, 14 karat gold fill beads and um, parts to make your jewelry and so far, it is expensive. And the thing of it is, it does not have markings on it. It is not going to have... 14k gold fill on it. It's going to be uh, simple and so far. And uh, most jewelry uh, designers and so far purchase these uh, gold uh, fill so that uh, it doesn't tarnish. So that is the thing. It doesn't tarnish and so far. But if you buy a, a piece of jewelry from someone and they say it's 14 karat gold filled. Uh, then it, you, there's not going to be any markings on it and so forth. The beads are not going to say 14 karat gold fill. The um, other part or the band oh, is not going to say 14 karat gold fill. So uh, there you have that. So uh, when you get the, the beautiful jewelry, beautiful, beautiful, and they're affordable for people who cannot afford uh, the actual real gold, and they are so nice and so far. I haven't made any jewelry in a while. But uh, again, I do have some ready-to-go pieces that I'm thrifting along with everything else. And I do still have a few pieces on my website that I have handmade and so far. And, and like I said, they're not going to have that for, uh, markings on it and so far. So if you get something from someone or purchase something from someone and it doesn't have that on there and so far, don't freak out because it's, it's not going to be branded that way. Uh, the only thing you're going to get branded uh, when it comes to gold uh, is um, 14K gold. Now, if it's for real gold, 14K gold, it is going to be marked on the, um, you know, item and so forth, 14K gold. It's going to be marked and also, too, with the person's name on it and, um, you know, let's just say Gerald <laughs> and it's just who I do all. Uh, or one of the other jewelry brands and so forth and things like that. Uh, okay. And um, let me see. One other thing that I wanted to mention about that. Um, I hope it'll come to me. <laughs> yeah, I just want to address that because, you know, uh, people think that it's going to, you know, come that way. But it's just not going to come that way and so forth. And, you know. And that's just the way it is and so forth. And I just want to give you old guys a head up on that with the 14K gold fill. It is just not going to come with branding and things like that. So you'll get um, the information and the details of the seller and so forth. But on the actual beads or uh, bracelet, earrings or necklace, whatever it is, it's not going to say 14 gold fill. Okay. Um, oh, I know what it was. Also, too... 
when you buy jewelry, if, if it does not say, um, or if it's not real gold or fine gold or, you know, uh, you know, one of those terms and so forth, it's all going to be costume jewelry. Even though it's 14K gold feel and it's not going to tarnish, it's still considered, um, costume jewelry and so forth. I just wanted you guys to know that as well. Okay, so let's get on with this handbag sale and so forth and get on with our day. Okay. Um, I was able to thrift uh, one, this is the latest handbag. I was able to thrift and this is my cute little auto, auto and so forth. And here's your little charm piece here. Auto and everything and this is cute and i love the little stud golden stud um and then you got your zipper pocket on the back and um your little auto name and those straps are really great <laughs> i'll get it together in a minute and then you got your uh zip uh clothes and this is what is considered a doom style bag and so forth but i think it's real cute let me show you how it looks first before i open it up and show you even though the straps are short you still got pretty good um room for the shoulder bag you can carry it like this or you can carry it like this you know like this and so forth when you go into the store and i think it's like i said it's really really cute i like the style of it so let me show you the inside Very clean, very nice. You got your uh, zip pocket, one little open pocket here, and then you actually got two open pockets on this side. So when I uh, got this, I didn't really even notice that it had three open pockets and so far. But here, there you go, three open pockets. Very clean, very nice bag. Hold a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, and this is your Zoom, uh, Doom, <laughs> Doom style satchel, is what I call it, bag. And this is your Aldo. Okay. And we do have this beautiful um, B. Mikowski bag. I love the uh, color of this bag. It's like a brown um leopard embossed print on this bag and so far um i do like that you can see the the um the the design of the bag you got your nice big chunky charm here your gray and leather uh straps i do love this buckle style also here and everything and this bag like this that is cute and it does have a nice drop in here and so far uh, to carry this bag and you can also carry it like this or like this <laughs> okay so let me show you the inside There you go. You got your zipper print, the signature B. Mikowski there. You got your zipper pocket here, uh, B. Mikowski logo there. You got your middle zipper pocket. And then you got, uh, oh, no, not too open pocket. And this is very clean, very nice bag. And uh, again, I love the design of this bag. Very chunky. Uh, charm and so forth and very nice in the inside so yes this is our B. Mikowski 
And um, also, too, I like the style of this bag, the way it's shaped and all that. So it's a very nice bag. I do like it a lot. Okay. D. Mikowski. Okay. Here we go with uh, one of my other favorite designers is uh, Steve Madden. And this is a little uh, backpack handbag and so forth. Uh, you can carry it like this uh, on the arms or the hands. And of course, you can do, carry it as a swing. Let's see if I can get that right for you. Um, a swing. Or you can just, you know, do the backpack thing. So, this is cute. You do got your open flap pocket. Then you got another open um, snap pocket here as well. And it's a zip around. Show you the inside. This bag holds a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, you got your zipper pocket here. Uh, your Steve Madden right there. And then you got your middle zipper. And then on this side, you got two open pockets and so forth. And this bag goes really deep. As you can see, the length of this bag and so forth. It is really, really cute. And I like this hair a lot. Steve Madden is actually one of my favorites. Other than Michael Kors. You know, I'm a Michael Kors girl. Love, love, love Michael Kors bags. Pick them up as I get them. Also, Dooney and Bert. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <coughs> Excuse me. I actually like all the bags, really. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. I like all the bags. Let's see here. Here we go. get this uh, plastic out of the way and so forth so you can zip this back up right <laughs> here we go and now they got two zippers and so forth here as you can see but this one here is a zipper for the bag it zips all the way around so here you go these bad Okay. Now, this is a nice little bucket bag. Uh, this bag is um, branded, um, but not a well-known uh, designer and so forth. Um, the, the designer is new to me, I put it that way. And this is a nice, beautiful bucket bag here. And this is genuine leather. And you got your little zip, I mean, uh, snap pocket closure and your drawstring closure as well. So, you're going to, uh, this is an adjustable strap, but not a detachable strap and so forth. And this is how this bag is going to look. Really cute. And it's really nice. I love the feel of this leather. It's really, really nice. Okay, so let me show you. Uh, how the bag look in the inside and like I said it is a drawstring closure as well as this flap over snap closure and this is genuine leather and I'm trying to think of the designer's name um here we go right here um Gabor genuine leather um bag Actually, this bag has not been used. It's actually new. I forgot that. But well, thank God I kept the ticket in here. <laughs> and there is the serial numbers and stuff on the back of this bag. Uh, here you go. It does have one silk pocket. And that is it. And then you just 
put this stuff into the bottom. And I'll leave that tag in there um, and so forth. But this is a beautiful bag and the leather is exquisite. And here also too is the um, name of the bag. Uh, Goreboard Genuine Leather right there. Okay. I thrifted this bag and I like it. I wasn't familiar with the um, name of the bag and so forth, but the feel of the bag was really nice and I knew it was genuine leather before I actually seen the tag to say that it was genuine leather and so forth. So I definitely decided to pick it up and to keep that and snap there. And so forth and this is how this bag looks which is little drawstring there okay and these bags were quite expensive back to read because when i did the comp on this bag and so forth it was quite expensive and so far um even the used ones were pretty good, quite this. Uh, I would say, I uh, think the uh, comps on these bags is like a hundred. Something didn't get put in. Okay, maybe this. Okay, we're going back, girls. We're going back, um, and so far, uh, to the Y2K, they call them. Uh, they're back in season, <laughs> back trending, and so forth. And this is a beautiful, beautiful bag right here. Um, crossbody, and this is actually a nine west uh, crossbody. It is not detachable, but adjustable on the straps, and so forth. Beautiful, beautiful bag. Beautiful. Uh, and I love the way this bag is designed. Uh, I like the little zipper pull. You got two snap openers here, one, and then you got the other one here. Uh, snap. Oh, I'm just gonna leave that paper and not even take that out. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you the middle part here. Now I will take this out. This bag is um like new in the inside. It doesn't look like it's even been worn. Uh, you got your little Nine West logo there, your little zipper pocket here, and then on the other side, you do have a one big open pocket, and so far, beautiful bag in the inside, and I love this color, and spring is coming, and this is one of those uh, really nice spring colors of this bag here, very nice color, and I like the way that it is made. Uh, you have your uh, Nine West logo here. And so this is a beautiful bag. Uh, no damage to the straps or anything. Like I said, this bag is in like new condition and everything. And uh, I just love it. And I decided I'll pull this out to show you today. Uh, since um, everybody's saying Y2K bags are coming back. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I do love this bag. So yeah, this is your cute nine west crossbody. Okay. have another little cute uh brown uh pebble leather bag and so far so cute and this is another one i have like two of uh, rebecca minkoff bags and so far uh this one here has a little tassels and everything going on your tassels here your tassels here and this is um not in the detachable strap but it is adjustable and everything you got your zipper pocket here zipper pocket here and then you also got a open pocket magnetic open pocket here on the outside and all that and um let's see 
And here on the bottom is you got the Rebecca Minkoff logo. Okay, so this is a cute little bag. And so for great for those summer and outing events and things like that, both hands free, cross body, keep it in front of you, and you go and go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> very nice bag. And let me show you the inside. You do uh, black lining. Uh, you do have some car slots in here. And then you got the Rebecca Minkoff name. You can't hardly see it because it's black in the inside. But there you go. Right there. And then over on this side, you have one open pocket right there. So, yeah, this is Rebecca Minkoff. Uh, brown pebble lavender uh, crossbody. Cute, cute, cute. Rebecca Minkoff. This is another one of the most recent bags that I thrifted. And this is the Gianni Bellini bag and so far. I do love this little cute style bag. Um, it is not detachable but adjustable strap. And as you can see, uh, it's like for someone has set for a shoulder bag at this point. I like that. And um, I especially like the little change coin purse here. You got your flap over opening here. And this has some compartments in it and so far, like car slots and things like that. Then you got your also your little zipper pocket there as well. Then also you too you have a zipper pocket on the back and everything. And like I said, this is a crossbody and so forth that you can also wear as a shoulder bag. And the way that the straps are set is that you know whoever had the bag was wearing it as a shoulder bag. Very good and very good good condition, excellent condition actually. It doesn't seem like whoever had it actually worn it very much and so far. Uh, very clean and inside again it's black on the inside you got your zipper pocket here uh, the logo name there and then on the other side you have those two uh, is it two or one one open pocket over on this side and so forth very very nice bag no damages to this bag anywhere and uh, Gianni Bellini is a designer brand, but uh, designer Bellini bags does not run um, very high in cost. So I do like these bags and I do pick them up, um, you know, when I see them, especially in, when they're in this particular condition and so forth. Because if you uh, want to so, sell a low cost bag and so forth, this would be one of the definite brands that you want to get for quality and prices. Just take this thing. I can't take it out. That is your Gianni Bellini. Okay. You know we're not going to go a day without showing a microcord if we have them to show. So let's get to it. This is one of my favorite bags, favorite designers, and so forth, Micro Cord. I love his uh, products, and each time I see them, I grab them, grab them, grab them. 
yes very beautiful bag and i've also um did lower the price on these bags even though the comp say these bags are going for like a hundred some dollars i did lower it a little bit and so far so if you guys are interested in getting this bag and so forth you can look 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 and because i sell bags and so far we was at the store a couple days ago and this lady uh kind of small white lady came out and so far and she was strutting with her micro cord bag so you knew that caught my attention right away i said mm, cute <laughs> i said that to myself mm, cute mm. you know <laughs> okay this here is a snap opening and everything zip closer double strap of course let me show you how it looks inside this bag holds a lot a lot a lot as well <laughs> here we go clean and inside on both sides uh you got your large zipper middle zipper uh you got your key lander you got your zipper pocket too open pockets here then on the other side you also have two open pockets here so this bag has actually um two open pockets four actually open pockets and uh two zips and a key lander Okay, I think we got it all stuffed in here now. And this is your uh, one more piece. Of, okay, the left, let me get that in. And yeah, Michael Cord. Okay. Okay, we do got one more bag to share uh, with you. And again, going back old school, uh, Y2K, another one of Nine West beautiful bags. This is called the shoulder satchel. And so forth. we're going to put some more stuffing in this bag here uh, and everything. So let's do that now. See if we can grab some stuffing and put it in here. And um, because uh, I don't like dents in my bags, I don't like it, and so forth. So, let's see if we can stuff this thing a little bit more. Okay, this is a beautiful bag. Um, uh, this is a gray bag that'll go with pretty much everything. Um, nine west here. Uh, this is a satchel. It's really big. I just, the reason I like this bag so well also too is because it's got the two pockets on the side, two open pockets here on the side, one here and one there. And I do love this um, double strap chain um, design and so forth here. So this bag is so cute. Um, here we go. And this bag has barely been worn. Um, also, it's no damages to it. Um, you have your one open pocket, snap pocket over on this side. 
and then you've also got your snap closure uh, and all that so we're going to take this stuff back out and put it inside you got your two pockets here your middle zipper here and then you got your uh, zipper pocket there along with the logo and so far and this is your little Y2K beautiful uh, no damage leather um, and so far and this is not fox leather this is leather uh, nine west okay thank you guys for joining me today with the designer handbag and so far as I fill these bags I will be bringing them to you and everything some of the bags are going to be watch well, all the bags on sale um but some of them are also going to be marked down for a um summer clearance and so far we got just a couple bags on clearance now but more is going to be marked down on for uh spring summer clearance to get rid of them so we can bring in more um the link to our website is www uh, ebay.com slash str slash uh shawzay s-h-a-w-z-a-e books and home decor so go and check that out grab you one of these bags grab your book or uh, piece of jewelry or whatever it is you want we have it all uh check it out home decor jewelry department book department um uh, and all that and especially our handbag department so check that out all right and i'll see you the next time